Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this cement mixer, which was another request. I've got a really long list of requests I'm working through at the moment. When crocheted using 8-ply wool, this one, the size is 14.5cm by 12cm or 5 and 3 quarter inches by 4 and 3 quarter inches. This medium cement mixer crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 mm hook is 10.5 cm by 8 cm or 4 inches by 3 and a quarter inches. The small cement mixer crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 mm hook is 8 cm by 6.5 cm or 3 and a quarter inches by 2.5 inches. I'll be using 8-ply today, which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got red for my main colour and yellow and blue for my contrasts. And I've got grey for the window and the inner wheel and black for the outer wheel. I've got a 3mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in my ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now I'm starting on the truck body. I've got my red and I start with 30 chain. For row 1, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. A single crochet is called a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch, bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. So we need one single crochet into each of our chain. And that's row 1 finished. For row 2, 
We start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, just in there. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 31 stitches. So after our initial two single crochet we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow three, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 30 stitches.
and that's the first three rows complete. For row four, we're starting on the cab now. We start with one chain and turn our work and we work one single crochet into each of the first 13 stitches. So a single crochet into each of the first 13 stitches. For row 5, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 13 stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over our first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 12 stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 11 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 10 stitches. Row 9, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first seven stitches.
and then work a joined single crochet over our last three stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, hook into the second stitch and bring through a loop, and hook into our third stitch and bring through a loop. We've got four loops on our hook and we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 8 stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 8 stitches. Row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet until we have two stitches left. and a joined single crochet over our last two stitches. And that's the track body done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch along the top. And then we work one chain and a single crochet in the same stitch as our last single crochet. That's just for the corner. And then we work a single crochet into each stitch down to this corner here. Just find a suitable place to put your hook, not too far from the edge. Now I'm just going to work a slip stitch into this corner stitch here. So I put my hook in to the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And then I work a single crochet into each stitch along this edge.
and then I'm just going to work a single crochet into each stitch along the straight bits and around these curves this part and just around this corner part I'll work two single crochet into some stitches to keep it flat. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll meet you when I get near the end of the row. Now when we get back to the top we work a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. So we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on our hook and then fasten off. I'm going to start on this arm now that holds the barrel in place. I'm going to start on this circle part here. So I've got my red and I make a magic loop. There are quite a few different ways of making a magic loop but I like to put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and then the long end over the short end to make a circle. Then I put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle and there's my magic loop. And then I start with one chain. Into my circle I'm going to work 10 half double crochet. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around your hook, hook into the circle and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and then take the hook with this yarn at the end through the three loops. And we need nine more half double crochet into our circle. Then we pull the circle tight, so we take hold of this tail and just ease the circle in as tight as we can. And then we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on your hook. And that's the circle done. Now we work four chain. Next we're going to join it to the body of our truck. So I join it seven stitches back from the corner. So this stitch here, I put my hook in to the stitch. I've got my yarn over the top and then I bring a loop through and take it straight through the loop on my hook and it's now joined to the body. Next I'm going to slip stitch into the next two stitches towards the cab. So hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and the same again. Now I'm going to work two double crochet into my first chain. A double crochet is called a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops and then we work one more double crochet into that same stitch and then work one double crochet into each remaining chain.
and then slip stitch into the circle where the top of your double crochet meets. So just in there and fasten off. And that's the truck body with the arm done. Now I'll be back with my blue to work the barrel. Now for the barrel, using my blue, I work eight chain. For row one, I work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and to work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 10 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 11 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last 2 stitches, and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. We've just started the decreasing for the back. 
For row 12, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 13, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 14, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 15, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 16, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And that's a barrel done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row, we start with one chain and then we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch along the sides and one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet into each corner stitch. So I'll work around my neatening row and I'll be back when I get near the end. When I get back to the beginning of the row, I work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's a barrel. For the window, I'm using my grey and I start with five chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. For row 2, work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For 
Now for the neatening row, we start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch down the side. Into the corner stitch work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then work a single crochet into each stitch to the corner stitch into the corner stitch work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then work a single crochet into each stitch up the side into the corner stitch work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and work a single crochet into each stitch along the top and then into the end stitch work a single crochet one chain and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off and that's the window done for these inner wheels we need three I've got my grey again and I make a magic loop I work one chain and I work eight single crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. and I've got a small circle, I'll just pull that one in a bit more so for the second one I make a magic loop work one chain and eight single crochet into the circle Pull the circle tight and work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off and for the third one I make a magic loop work one chain and eight single crochet into my circle
I pull the circle tight and work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. Now I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll work the black part of the tire. Now for the outer wheel we join our black yarn in any stitch around the edge of our inner wheel. And work two chain. We work one double crochet in the same stitch as a chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. And then two double crochet into each remaining stitch. Once I've worked the two double crochet into each stitch, I work one double crochet into the first one. And slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the first wheel done. The others will work the same. I join my yarn in any stitch and start with two chain and work one double crochet in the same place as a chain and then work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work my other two wheels and I'll be back and we'll work this stripe for the barrel. Now for this barrel stripe I'm using yellow and I start with 12 chain
For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. And that's the stripe done except for a neatening row. We'll work the neatening row all the way around. We start with one chain and work a single crochet in each stitch down the side. Into the corner we work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then work a single crochet in each stitch along the next side. And then into the corners we'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. So I'll work the rest of my neatening row and I'll be back. At the end of the neatening row, I work one chain and slip stitch into the top of my first stitch and fasten off. And that's the barrel stripe complete. I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put the cement mixer together. There's all my pieces. I've got the three wheels, the track body, the window, the barrel stripe and the barrel. The first things I'll do is attach the stripe across the middle of the barrel and I'll attach the window in the centre a couple of rows down from the top, just about there. The next things I'll do is embroider the little door handle just under the window there from about level with the back of the window to about halfway across and I'll attach the barrel behind the arm about there. The bottom of the barrel just touches just past the arm and the front of the barrel will be joined just slightly just in that corner there to the cab and I'll stitch around the arm. And the last thing I do is attach the wheels. I attach the end ones first and then the centre one 
slightly more towards the back than the front so about there so I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished cement mixer and there's the finished cement mixer if you've liked my video please like subscribe and share I'm also on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter the details are in the description below along with the details of my Facebook group my website where I have my patterns and my patreon Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.